Thank you. Now, how do you suggest patients can self-diagnose swelling? I mean, that you've given a very good uh, uh, educational seminar on swelling, uh, but how do I know as a patient sitting at home that I do have swelling? Yeah, that's a that's a, a good point. And uh, so, you know, swelling can occur in both legs. Swelling, as we know, can occur in one leg. Uh, I would suggest if a patient, obviously, if they're noticing typically the swelling when they're sitting for prolonged periods um, occurs in the ankles, that's something called stasis edema, which is the medical term for, quite frankly, swelling that occurs in the ankles because we're sitting for prolonged periods of time. And quite frankly, that's where the fluid starts to settle. So if uh, a patient is looking down at their ankles and saying, gosh, I feel like there's a lot of fluid that's accumulating there, or I, I'm, I'm seeing a ring in my sock, then that may be due to the fact that they're sitting for prolonged periods. However, um, this can also be a manifestation of venous insufficiency. And so if a patient looks down and their legs look more swollen, or again, they have indentations from their socks, or if they push the leg with their finger and they see an indentation, then that can certainly be a sign of venous insufficiency. Now, again, as I said before, it's important to rule out other causes of swelling uh, which can be multifactorial. There's organic causes such as heart failure, such as liver disease, such as kidney disease, which certainly need to be ruled out, especially if the swelling is in both legs. But if the swelling is in one leg, then it's less likely to be a systemic cause, and it's more likely to be something along the lines of whether it's lymphedema or venous insufficiency. That's very helpful. So my take-home message, if I'm a patient, is if I have swelling, whether it's in one leg or both legs, I need to go see my primary care doctor or see my vascular specialist. Would you agree with that? I couldn't have said it better myself. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Satwa.